we're talking about so many examples, aren't we? We're talking about Germany a little later. We're talking about Italy. We've just been talking about the US. Now, comparisons with various uh, countries' experiences are difficult. Uh, we were talking, for example, about Singapore earlier in the programme. Very successful approach initially to the pandemic, now facing a second wave of infections. But the more places we talk about, the theory is, the more we learn. So let's try to learn from the experience of Georgia. To remind you, a small country of around 4 million people uh, between Russia to the north, Turkey to the south, Iran in the area as well, all countries suffering badly. But at the moment, uh, Georgia has only four recorded fatalities and it's being much praised for its operations. Uh, so what has been done and what lessons might we learn? Uh, on the line now is the Deputy Prime Minister of Georgia, Maya Chikadishvili. Um, very warm welcome to the programme. Now, the first thing that you did, as I understand, is you suspended uh, flights uh, from Iran, then very quickly after that you suspended flights to Italy, both hotspots. How much debate was there in late February, which is... God, doesn't seem that long ago, but, you know, the beginning when people were waking up to this. How much debate was there in government about what to do? Good morning, Lawrence. First of all, thank you for your interest in Georgia. And uh, you're completely right. So, actually, it's uh, already two months after our first case was recorded. Uh, but we have uh, just 408 cases still now. And unfortunately, but we have four fatalities. Uh, the mm, reason of our success, how it is uh, interpreted now, is uh, our early and decisive actions. Actually, we were uh, very much following the uh, advices of our healthcare professionals, the epidemiologists, and uh, we started acting very early. Uh, starting from 22nd of January, we started temperature screening at all arrivals. And we have imposed quite strict um, rules for screening and for screening of the passengers arriving, especially for the zones which were considered to be hotspots. And I'm sure this is and, one reason why very, very quickly you banned flights as well. But was, uh, there, was there immediate agreement? I mean, was there much choice in what you had to do? Actually, we had uh, very good communication with, uh, from the very beginning because we understood that uh, the battle with coronavirus is a battle that you can win only with the support of your population mm. because no government can uh, treat this case alone. And uh, we, uh, we opted to have very clear communication with our citizens from the very beginning. And I would like to use this opportunity as well to, uh, to show that our population was very responsive. And, so and, and, and have, you, have you locked down the population? Just remind us what the situation is in Georgia. Uh, yes, we have imposed a lockdown on uh, in end of March. Actually, it's one year, uh, one month uh, after the lockdown was imposed. Uh, but this lockdown even is balanced what we were trying to um, to cope on the two battles, battle mm. with coronavirus and battle to uh, just to uh, also help our economy to strive in this of very Of course, because uh, this is the situation. difficult balance and it's a difficult political decision to make. Yes. Would, so you just we were... would you just explain one thing for us, Maya, which is the importance you, you have, as I understand it from reading the background, a very well-known test laboratory which has been working. How important as an element of the strategy has been testing people for the virus? How much have you been able to do? Um, we had, uh, with, uh, with support of our um, strategic partner with the U.S., we had a uh, very good laboratory, you uh, could with the rights, our Luger Center for Disease and Control, and our national system for the disease, uh, disease and Control was uh, very well supported by our, uh, our partners. So that showed the result, and uh, our specialists are quite well equipped with that. Uh, lab testing is one of the instruments, it's very important instruments, and uh, we, we have tested more than... Uh, uh, 7,000 uh, persons till now. Uh, all of them were supported uh, based on the guidelines that were elaborated by our national... Uh, OK, that's, that, 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 that's uh, quite a high number specialist. and very impressive. And, and one thing that everyone is talking about now is the danger of a second wave, how you release the lockdown. What is your thinking? Many people looking to you as an example of good practice. What is your thinking now when it comes to easing the lockdown and what you do next, how to avoid that second peak? 
Uh, first of all, we have to be very careful with uh, easing the restrictions because we all understand that uh, it's quite tempting to open everything mm. uh, as soon as the uh, figures are going down. But of course, uh, we have to be careful. We have to be uh, also following very strictly uh, guidelines for the social distancing. And I believe that everyone has to understand that we have to adapt with the virus uh, before the vaccine is uh, in place or cure. Uh, so we, of course, have to adapt to live to so, uh, but, uh, Adapting means that cer certain changes will be permanent. There's going to be a change in life for the foreseeable future, yeah? Of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. For, for some period of time, we have to live uh, together with the rise of virus. And uh, it means that, of course, we, we already start working on the plan for the opening up the economy again. And uh, this plan, of course, uh, considers as a gradual opening up of some businesses which low uh, low risks and of course uh, testing will be a very useful and supportive tool in uh, in controlling the right. uh, spread of the virus and, but and of course the social distancing measures are very important they're going to have to remain uh, listen uh, best wishes to you as well hope it all works uh, lessons to be learned from the experience in georgia that was the deputy prime minister of georgia uh, maya chikitishvili